Blooming flowers, warmer temperatures, and longer days are usually all the things we typically look forward to in usually. spring. Yes, the silver usually. lining, okay, but other but, things come with it, right? But itchy eyes, a tickly throat, a stuffy or runny nose. Does that sound all familiar? Mm. That can make a beautiful season all the more dreadful. Dr. Zachary Rubin from Oak Brook Allergist joins us now to tell us how to beat those seasonal allergies. Good morning, Dr. Rubin. Thank you so much for joining us right off the bat. I, I can attest to this. It seems that allergy seasons are getting longer and worse. Is that true? Unfortunately, it is true. We are having <laughs> no. more pollen throughout the year. The pollen counts have been generally rising over the last several years. And even though it was snowing recently in April, the weather patterns are favoring having pollen season starting earlier and ending later. There was actually a study published recently by Climate Central looking at the number of freeze-free days throughout the year. And in Chicago here, we have about 14 more days with temperatures above freezing in the year now compared to in 1970. And this past February was the warmest February on record, which means that plants start to grow earlier and release pollen earlier and it's ending later. So more and more people are suffering from seasonal allergies. Now, uh, knock on wood, yeah. I've never had allergies. <laughs> In my well, so far in my life, who knows what will come up, but I do often get a typical cold around this time of year. How can people tell the difference between allergies and actually having a cold? I know this is asked quite a bit, especially over the last few years, but it's hard to tell the difference mm -hmm. because an allergy is an abnormal immune response to a foreign substance. Basically, your immune system looks at pollen and thinks it's a parasite, so it'll make more mucus production that leads to a stuffy nose, runny nose sneezing and a cough, which that sounds a lot like a cold, right? Yeah. The only yeah. difference really is, is a fever. A fever is a cold until proven otherwise. So if you're struggling, you really need to see your doctor to get examined. Okay, now for the rest of us who do suffer allergies, and I'm really hoping Jasmine <laughs> never crosses over into this. For, I appreciate that. Yeah, you know, aside from Google, what's the best way to manage our allergies at home? Now, you know I could talk about this for yes, hours, so I I'm going to give yeah. the basic tips. So everybody can consider closing their windows at all times. When you get home, change your clothes. Leave that at the front of the house with your shoes. You don't want to be tracking all those allergens into the home, on your clothes, onto your furniture, right? You could also get an air purifier for your room, clean your home on a regular basis, shower at nighttime, and then you could also get something to rinse your sinuses out, like a neti pot. Even though I know it's not fun to do, that gets rid of the mucus and the allergens. Then when you go to the pharmacy, there's a lot of different medications that mm -hmm. you could use, including oral antihistamines like Zyrtec and Claritin if you have a lot of sneezing, itching, runny nose, as well as getting nasal sprays to treat a stuffy nose or post-nasal drip. There are a lot of different medications over the counter. There's nasal steroids like Flonase and Nasacort, a nasal antihistamine spray called Astapro, as well as a nasal decongestant that's called Afrin. You don't want to use Afrin for more than a few days, though, because you could become dependent upon it. And if you tried all of those things, you should go see an allergist because we can test you to see what are you sensitive to to reduce exposure to those allergens, mm -hmm. as well as prescription strike medications and allergy shots to train your immune system to be less responsive. Yeah, right. lots of really good tips right there. Thank, thank you. you so much, Dr. Rubin. Thank you so much for joining us. And for a quick refresh on managing seasonal allergies, all you have to do, follow Dr. Rubin or head to our website, which is abc7chicago.com.